Hi, this is your June 2019 monthly MLS video. Try to keep it here in a couple of around five minutes to get you on your day in the MLS. Uh, we did do an earlier uh, June monthly video. Uh, it was removed because some content changed, so this is a revision. So let's go ahead and get start uh, with uh, the Flex Map overlays. Um, these are uh, overlays that you can turn on when you're doing a map search. And on that map page in the upper right corner under overlays is, um, a, is a, cat, a, a full list of all the different overlays you can turn on. A lot of these are not new and they've just been revised in the last month. Uh, we've been working with Flex to ensure that the boundaries are correct for Albuquerque Elementary, High School, and Middle Schools. We did uh, a recent audit of these and found some slight changes in those boundaries that needed to make sure we're, they're accurate. Um, we also um, revised the PID Public Improvement District boundaries in Albuquerque or Rancho. Uh, very minor adjustments to any of the existing ones, but we did find that Lomas and Cantatas, uh, the shape for that, that PID uh, was not in the Flex overlay map. So that is a, you'll now see that in the overlay um, when you're listing a property in that area or searching. We also um, want to remind you about the Albuquerque zoning overlay, which is only going to be visible in Albuquerque. And this is a blend of the Bernalillo County and Albuquerque IDO zonings. Um, a great resource for you to drill in and look for your parcel or property to see what the current zoning is. So it's important to know that any of these overlays in here, when you're entering a listing, uh, have the ability to, to auto-populate that information for you on the listing. For example, for Albuquerque listing, when you auto populate um, off the address, it'll add you, it'll give you the elementary, high, and middle schools. It'll provide the Albuquerque zoning code and also identify if it's in a PID. For Rio Rancho, it should identify if it's in a PID. Um, also, give you the area and zone atlas. Uh, area and zone atlas would probably be auto populating for any listing put in in the state in our, or in our market area. So very helpful resources for you in searching, auto-populating your listing. Uh, that's our overlays. Next has to do with a recent change um, regarding the quick search and map search in Flex. Uh, you may have noticed when you've gone in the last few weeks that you no longer saw your map search, the choice at the top, or in the Flex menu, you did no longer see map search. So that's because it has been combined with the map, the quick search now. So. If you want to do a map search, um, you would just want to click in this gray area around the, this pop-up box, and then you can start drawing your shapes. You can go in and hit that nosy neighbor icon at the bottom and take a look at parcel information. So it, it's just kind of embedded into there. If uh, One little tip on starting a quick search as you're setting up your criteria on the left, and you might notice that um, if you click view on map, or you might see that all of these um, properties are starting to display, that can be um, a little hurdle on you trying to draw on the map. For example, if I were to do a quick search and quickly hit view on map, I'm filled my screen with all active and coming soons visible in this in this screen. And now if I try to draw a polygon shape, I have to kind of fight with these um, search results that are mapped on the screen. So remember this tip. When you start a quick search, click that gray area around the pop-up box so it doesn't turn on all the listings on the map, and then you're free to draw. So that's just a quick tip. Uh, next update, where to find MLS training classes. We are working on an improvement to the Swimless website, uh, making it easier for you to locate and find our monthly trainings. For right now, you can go to the gar.com website. Under the education section, go to calendar. It will load up all of our current education classes, CE and events. And under the quick filters, go ahead and click where it says free. And that should filter out uh, our free classes limited to just the MLS trainings, webinars, and it might be an event or something or speaker shares we're doing, but this is the quickest way to see everything we have uh, coming up for trainings. 
keep in mind the webinars are often not hosted at GAR. They, uh, a lot of the products uh, that are available to MLS subscribers have their own training, so we try to uh, include the webinars that they host nationally um, for you to learn more about their services. Moving on now to a couple of tips for you. Um, within your Flex menu, under your general preferences, one thing that you can do is at the very top of your preferences, you can choose a default listing report. Right now, it should be defaulting to the new ABQ full report or our most current version. If you like the old one, you can still go down to ABQ old report and choose that as your default or any other reports that you've created or reports that Flex has that you would like uh, to use as a default. One other fun setting, um, at the bottom of your preferences, there is an option that says expiring listing notification. If you were to check that box and set a specific date, you can have Flex email you two days, five days, you know, seven days, how many days out you want before that listing expires. Since when a listing expires, you're no longer able to make it back active without working with MLS staff and paperwork, this is a helpful tool to remind yourself, oh, two days, seven days before, I'm going to go ahead and get that a, a paperwork signed with a seller to extend that listing and then go change the date. And then you don't have to worry about the listing expiring on a Sunday and then waiting to reach us at MLS on Monday with the paperwork to make it back active. So all that is under your general preferences. Make sure whatever you're changing, you hit that little save button at the bottom. We're going to finish off the June update with just a product highlight. Um, this is a free um, MLS product available to all of our subscribers called InfoSparks. Under the Flex menu, under Products, you should see one that says InfoSparks. This is your uh, go-to place for market uh, data, metrics, information that you can share uh, with your client. Um, reports, you can even export into an Excel file. Quick example of this, let's just go ahead and pick uh, Albuquerque single family detached and we can start to go down to this chart here and there's more than 10 different metrics we can do uh, to look at um, the breakdown of the statistics over time. Um, in the upper right corner you can change your range back from three years to 10 or max. I think the max is 2003 for as back as far as our data goes. Um, play around with the different graphs and lines and bar charts. Um, select your metric. These are two of our newest metrics called shows to pending, shows per listing. That is going to use showing time data on showings activity uh, tied with the, uh, the metrics of the MLS stats. Great reports and tools that you can click on share um, to post on, on social media or create reports to share with your clients. Under InfoSparks at the very top, you can go to Fast Stats. That's actually where you get archived monthly reports um, that we've posted on GAR. So here's a little tip. We post our monthly stats on the 10th of each month or, or the next business day. Um, for example, we posted our May 2019 stats on June 10th. As a Swimless subscriber with access to Fast Stats and InfoSparks, you can actually go in here and download that monthly local market update two days before we post it on the 10th uh, because we, it is available within Fast Stats usually by the 8th of each month. So for June, June will probably be uh, added by uh, July 8th and then posted all, to all subscribers and to the public on June 10th. So just a quick way to get uh, the monthly report two days or one or two days before they go live. And that's under Fast Stats. Uh, I've kept you long enough. I, I wish you a great month and we'll see you back in July. Thank you for watching.